climate sensitive, clean, green, inclusive, equitable, resilient, sustainable growth for our country and promising a good quality of life to our people. So at the very onset, we would like to Guidelines like RERA and GST, amended old acts like Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code and the Benami Transactions Prohibition Act and envision schemes like the 100 Smart Cities, the Housing for All, the Make in India, the Amrut Cities, etc. <clears throat> the RERA Act was aimed at safeguarding home buyers while fostering real estate investments. Chennai has been prefabricated structures which were assembled in the site. In the Rajkot, there are tunnel form work. Three steel structures with different PVC and panels. And if there are three steel structures with steel panels, with six distinct technologies have been initiated by Mohua. One of the light houses... ...and this is why the light houses are very small and small. And this is why the light houses are very small and small. It is a very small part of the light houses. It will become a very small part of the light houses. If the light houses will be more and more. We have to accelerate the movement from these older technologies into new emerging and the cutting edge technologies in the world. So I think before we reach that, we have, he had a, what is called a global uh, housing technology challenge. Population. And cities as the hub of economic activity will be re responsible for producing more than 70% of the country's GDP. And as we move from 2030 onwards, because you can see to build one room, we need only two parts and it is easy to join. We have, we have not got the people from abroad. 400 toilets were converted where we finished the entire toilet block on the ground, including your sanitary fittings, everything except the exterior door, uh, and then put that toilet and then build around it. And that's how our building was finished. And the last thing is now we are doing 3D 